Good morning, grade one students, uh, grade two students, sorry. How are you all doing today? Good? Wow, that's great. Now, welcome of, uh, in week 13 and day two. And remember, what is this? We have already started term two yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is the first week of your second term, right? Okay, now let's do a small recap thing. What was the topic that we have started yesterday? That was on day one. What we started on day one? That was, yes, we have started a new unit of comprehension and that was bridges. You learned about bridges. That how many types of bridges are there? We have learned three types of bridges you have learned. And what are the, those? Arch bridge, beam and suspension. Very good. There are the, these are the three types of bridges. And remember, the topic which was in the book is actually from a book, a, another book. And in that book, they have written or they have told us about different bridges. And what was at the starting of the book or at the back of the book? Index, very good. And we have index that, what does the index tells you? It gives you information. It tells you about the topic, that whichever topic you want to, uh, see or check out you will go uh, you will look at the index first and then you will go to the required page very good this was your topic that we have done yesterday now today what we are going to learn we are going to learn today something about grammar and in grammar remember what is very important yes punctuation is very important and punctuation means that you when to add capital letter, when to put a full stop, question mark, and comma, <laughs> hyphen, exclamation mark, and contractions, right? So today what we are going to learn, we have, we have done this before in term one as well. Now, gradually, gradually, we are going moving forward. <laughs> you are going to learn more things about different topics, right? So we have done contractions, uh, or I remember our contractions with and you have done, right? Today you are going to do contractions with not. The contractions with not you are going to do. Now what are actually contractions? Can you tell me? Can you recall? Yes? Yes. Contractions are when you make a word smaller by lifting out some of the words, some of the alphabets, either one alphabet or two alphabets to make the word smaller. And what do you add when you are writing a contraction? Yes, you add an apostrophe. This is apostrophe and it is like a comma. But you write on the top. Comma, you write uh, uh, down at the bottom. But apostrophe, you write on Top. And there is uh, there are certain rules that you have to follow. So let's look at the video that we have of contractions, right? Again, this video is our Edwell video. Do watch it later on, subscribe it, like that video so that it's going to be safe for you and you can watch that video later on, okay? So are you all ready? Yes? Okay, let's see. Can you all see my screen, children? Okay, very good. Just a minute, now it's going to go on. Yes. Oh, these are contractions. Let's sing along. These are contractions. Let's sing along. Did not, didn't, does not, doesn't, are not, aren't, would not, wouldn't, is not, and isn't, must not, mustn't. So you move the O and put an apostrophe. It is, it, it 
much. He is his. These are the contractions. Come and learn. Okay. So these were the contractions with not. Right. We have done different contractions, and now you uh, are doing uh, contractions with. Not now. I'm going to share a presentation in which you have seen before also, just to recall how do we use contractions, okay? And how do we write contractions actually? Right. Now, can you see board my screen? Okay. Now, what are actually contractions? Contractions. A contraction is one word that is made by putting together two separate words and shortening them. Right? We have to be shorten the words, and there are seventy contractions in English language. Most contractions are made by leaving out two letters, like the word "she will." It will become "she." Some contractions are missing only one letter. Okay, words are squeezed together. Now let's move on. I will just show you one example, and the rest we will do uh, on the board. Now contractions with I am and am. Whenever there is a contraction with I, I must be capitalized. That you already know. We always write I with capital letter. You will use am with I in a contraction. Replace a with an apostrophe. Squeeze the words together. I plus am will become I am. Now, in the same way, there are different contractions. But right now, what contractions we are doing is contractions with with not. Right now, when you are writing contractions with not, you as you do as I have told you, you are going to left leave some letter or letters like it is have not. So how you will write down have not contraction? You will write down have it. It will be have n n apostrophe t. It will be like this. Have it. Right? Okay, children. Now, in the same way, remember after n, you are going to put the apostrophe after n before t. Okay? Like it is. Should not. It will be shouldn't, right? Should not. It will be shouldn't. Right? Okay. Should not will become shouldn't, and then it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> do not. How do you write do not? It will become don't. Wow, great. Do not will become don't. D O N apostrophe and T. Do not will become don't. Remember, before T, you are going to add the apostrophe, right? In the same way, has not, hasn't, then does not, doesn't. Okay, it will be B O E L. Does not will become doesn't. B O E S N and apostrophe and then T. Remember, we will not write down uh, does not uh, the whole thing. For not, we will not write O. So that uh, so we will write down doesn't. Right in the same way. Here yeah, you can say for haven't also. Just a minute. For have not also, what we have done, we have not, uh, we have left out o. Okay, and then we write apostrophe and t. We have left out o. O in a, uh, we have it has become haven't. Okay, you usually uh, leave o and then write down apostrophe before t, like haven't. We have left O and write down haven't like this. Should not, shouldn't. Again, you have left O and write it. You have written like this. 
do not again you have left o and write it like this don't does now again you have left o and you have written does it right and don't forget to put apostrophe these are actually the short forms of some words in which we make the word shorter by leaving some letters uh, either one or two in the same way the contraction are not are not how are you going to write down are so again a r e n apostrophe and t you understood this is how these are the basic rules of contractions if you read your book page number 54 there also you are going to find out that how they have explained contractions are words that have been made smaller a letter or more than one letter is left out an apostrophe is used in place of a missing letter or letters right apostrophe is used in place of this o you understood apostrophe is used in place of letter or letters the two ends of arch must be fixed firmly so that they don't move so again they don't move is a, a contraction uh, of which word do not right correct now what will be the contraction how will you write down the contraction of was not wasn't right again you will leave o and you will write down wasn't do you understand yes children okay now what you are going to do you are going to do page number 51 of your nelson english there are two parts a and b these are all very easy we have just now did this on the board as well as i've shown you the video and presentation you can easily do this in several minutes and your time starts now okay class time is up now let's the first part we have already done part b what you have written isn't how are you going to write down let's write on the board just a So how are you going to write down? Like the first one is isn't. How will you write is in? This is the word. How will you write down? Is not correct. It is I again. Remember I should be capital. Is not. Now the next one is couldn't. Couldn't. How will you write down? Could not. Okay. Now, which is the next one? Mustn't. Mustn't. Must not. Correct. Must not. Right. Now, the next one is catch. Can't is of which word? Contraction of which word? Cannot. So these are the small words. You make the words smaller by deleting some words and adding apostrophe. Okay. You. This is a very very important part of grammar. Sometimes you use the uh, uh, the full letter words. Sometimes you use the contraction words sometimes you use the words with by making them shorter okay do you understand so this was what we were supposed to do today about contractions do remember this do remember how we are going to uh, write contractions what are the rules like you have to put apostrophe you have before t you are going to leave one letter or two letters and then write down the words apostrophe is very very important okay class do remember don't forget apostrophe is very very important when you are writing contractions okay so i hope you must have understood do revise this do watch that video again go on the our edworld website to watch the video and subscribe the video like the video and watch it again so that you it's very very clear to you although i have explained you 
and i hope you are will be able to do the homework which i'll be posting on portal later today if there is any confusion you are unable to do it or something like that you may leave that work and you can ask me the next day okay class so have a nice time have a nice day see you later in your science lesson okay bye bye